Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Hope you're all staying safe and well in these crazy times. So today's lesson is going to be None But The Brave. That's a great outtake from the Born In The USA album. Thanks very much to Patreon Pierre Roger Schroen for the request. Be sure to follow to the end of the video just in case I go through any parts that aren't in the walkthrough. For example, with this lesson I'll be going through a few electric parts that aren't in the walkthrough. Uh, so what I'll do now is play the whole song through and you'll see Tab appear on the screen. And I'll come back and go through all the individual parts. See you in a bit.
Hello and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we're gonna do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so this song is in the key of E major and like a lot of Bruce songs, there's lots of layers. So in the walkthrough, I use the acoustic guitar, but I also go through some of the electric parts or suggestions later on. Let's take a look at the chords first. So what we've got is E major. So zero, two, two, one, zero, zero. A major, zero, two, 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 zero. C sharp minor, root note A string, four, six, six, five, four. C sharp major, four, six, 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 four. B major, uh, two, four, 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 two. Uh, F sharp minor, two, four, four, two, two, two. G sharp minor, four, six, six, four, four, four. Cool, okay, so um, now basically the strumming pattern is that classic down, down, up, up, down, up. There's a few other, quite a few layers on there, but that's generally what's happening with the guitars, uh, with the acoustic anyway. So you've got this one, two, and three, and four, and. So one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so the first uh, strum is a crotchet or quarter note, which starts for one beat. Then you've got six quavers or eighth notes, uh, one of them is tied, so the one on the start of beat three is tied. So you've got, so this will, this is what it would sound like without the tie. One, two, and three, and four, and. What we're doing is just missing out the first half of beat three to get that really awesome strumming pattern. One, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so one, two, and three, and four, and. And down, down, up, up, down, up. Cool, so that's the pattern, and then pretty much you can use it for the majority of the song. Uh, and it's great, again, Bruce, watch some of the other videos I've done. Um, it's a, such a common strumming pattern, it sounds awesome. Okay, cool, so what I'll also do is put the song structure up on the screen now. Um, again, this will also be in the description. Um, the notes, that are the chords that are highlighted in red, that's where we're gonna do a slightly different strumming pattern. So it's quite a long song, but there's a lot of repeating patterns um, so that might help you as well. So what we'll do is we'll go through the main eight bar progression. This covers all the verses uh, and also the intro as well. So what you've got, using this strumming pattern, you've got E major, A major, C sharp minor, A major, E major, B major, A major, B major. Cool, so again, practice that over and over again so that the bulk of the song actually uses that kind of pattern. So what I'll do now is go through the first and second choruses. So they're, they're both the same, okay? So you've got that eight bar progression and then what's happening again is the first five bars of that are repeating, repeated and then you've got another bar of E. So what I'm gonna do is just play the second line of that first chorus and second chorus. So it's got E, A, C sharp minor, then A, then D, and then another bar of E. Cool, so think of that, the first and second chorus as your normal eight bar phrase with uh, an extra, uh, one, two, three, six bars, yeah? Cool, okay, so that is the first and second chorus. So let's go through the third chorus, which comes in just before the outro. So what happens here is, You've basically got this four bar phrase repeated three times first, which is E major, A major, C sharp minor, A major. And then you do that, so this is the second time round. Third time round. Cool, and then what we've got for the last four bars of the third chorus, what we've got is A major, G sharp minor, this is the one that went four, six, six, four, four, four. And then the S sharp minor, this is where you kind of, with the strumming, I kind of suggested going to kind of coincide with the, the drums as well. So one, two, and three, and four, and down strokes, a bit more amp impact to it. So you're going down, uh, so one, two, and three, and four, and, and then down, 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 down. F sharp minor, 
and you can see uh, and you've got A and B in brackets there. Basically means you've got half a bar of A, half a bar of B. And then you're going to do the same thing, but downstrokes, well, very similar. Four quavers or um, eighth notes with the A major. One and two and then B major. Three and four and. So those last two bars of the um, third chorus will go like this. One, two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. So let's quickly run through that whole of the third chorus. Okay, so those four bars three times, round two, round three, call it A major, and one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, of course that's the third chorus. Uh, and now what we'll do is we'll do the chords that appear behind the guitar solo. So don't forget all guitar solos are done on Patreon. So if you want any guitar solos, head over there. They're normally done a day or two after the YouTube, the main YouTube video is out. Cool, but we'll go through the chords behind the guitar solo. So you've got B major, C sharp minor, then it goes to C sharp major, F sharp minor, B major, then D major, A major, B major, and then again, this is kind of a build up on the drums. Uh, same strumming patterns we did uh, for that F sharp minor at the end of the third chorus. So one, two, and three, and four, and all down strokes. One down, 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 down. One, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so that's bar nine of the guitar solo. Again, it's highlighted on the song structure. Then C sharp minor, C sharp major, F sharp minor, B major, E major, then A major. And then I suggested for the last um, bar of the guitar solo, I should do quavers, down strokes. Again, this is highlighted in the song structure. One and two and three and four. And you also kind of want to build that up as well. Also, uh, just to go back to the verses, for the fifth and sixth verse, you want to keep that nice and uh, quiet, I think, because obviously it bro bro uh, you know, everything comes down a bit. So ideally, verse is a little bit softer, and then the chorus is a little bit, get a bit more velocity to it. Okay, so this, I'll just go through the, all of the guitar solo sections. So, B major, C sharp minor, C sharp major, F sharp minor. A major, E major, A major, B major, 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and, C sharp minor, C sharp major, F sharp minor, B major, E major, A major, then 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. Cool, so that's the uh, guitar solo chords, the chords behind the guitar solo. So now what we're going to do is go through the outro section, okay? So the outro section, we've got basically um, the, you know, those three rounds of four chords in the third chorus, and you do that four times. E major, A major, C sharp minor, A major, four times, and then just end on E. So the actual um, the track, the actual track, it actually fades out on record. Cool, so that's all the acoustic parts. Okay, so let's take a look at what I think's going on with the electric guitar. So there are a few uh, sort of layers of guitars on here. This is pretty much what I'm picking out. Um, so basically the same kind of chords, but also slightly different, okay? So in E, I'm gonna keep the same. And this is what I've also kind of recorded, this style of playing, I've recorded on the backing track. So when you hear the walkthrough, the electric guitar parts that I've recorded on the backing track is what I'm going through now. So uh, E major is normal. Uh, but then instead of an A, I think there's some guitars are playing an A sus2 chord. So A sus2 is basically 0, 2, 2, open B and open E. So the only difference there is the C sharp 
of the A chord is taken out and replaced with a B. Okay, so that's A sus2. Um, and the com combination of that A sus2 with the acoustic and the other instruments sounds really cool. So A sus2, so C sharp minor, I'm kind of playing it, but with the open string, open E string, a little bit more jangly sounding. Okay, uh, and then what we've got is B sus4 instead of the B chord. Okay, it just sounds really nice. So two, four, four, zero, zero. And then pretty much everything else is, uh, will, will do the same. Uh, now in terms of um, how to play over the acoustic, really it's kind of down, down, up, up, down, up, but you're kind of picking different strings. Okay, um, focusing on kind of the root notes to start with and then a combination of the other strings. Bruce will vary it up all the time and even the record it sounds slightly different in parts. Sometimes there might be another guitar where I think it's just maybe just one strum at the start of the bar, you know. A sus2, for example, B, B sus4, and there's other times where there's picking. So my suggestion is to think about this down, down, up, up, down, up pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And then kind of pick a combination of the notes. So what you could do, down, down, up, up, down, up, a kind of E, B, G, and then B there. It depends again on the nature of the chord as to what strings to pluck. So down, down, up, up, down, up. And then this is the same, we go through the eight bar phrase. The normal in the verses, you've got down, down, up, up, down, up. A sus two, C sharp mine, A sus two, E major, B sus four, A sus two, you can just vary it up like that. So it sounds really cool. And really the combination of all the instruments are what makes it sound awesome, okay? Okay, so, and then basically do that for all the verse sections. Again, you could, if, if you were playing this in a band, you could even get to say maybe three guitars. One plays the acoustic, one plays kind of sing, really simple strumming on the electric to fill it out a bit more, maybe with those nice new chords, A sus2 instead of the A, B sus4. In, instead of the, the B, and then maybe the C-sharp minor with that open E string. And then, um, again, yeah, the other guitarist does the picking. Okay, so then the only really thing, all I'm doing for the guitar solo is kind of playing the same thing um, as the acoustic, but just on the electric, so it gives that different tone to it. Cool, so that's pretty much everything. Um, any questions or comments or suggestions, feel free to let me know. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you've uh, liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and any backing tracks, PDFs, guitar profiles, uh, guitar solos, they're all available on Patreon. Normally um, extra videos are done on the day after this main video on Patreon. Um, so thanks everyone for watching and thanks again to the patrons as well. And I'll see you next week. Cheers, bye.